I'm Jillian Barfume, your product education manager here at Isogenics and registered dietitian. And um, I did a call the other night uh, with one of our associates all about sugars. And one topic that came up was added sugars. And so I thought I would jump on here because um, I think it's a great question and people are asking this more and more. So we wanna make sure you guys are armed with the answers when someone asks you about sugars and in our isolated shakes. So first of all, in general, we consume a lot of sugar. Um, the United States actually per person consumes more sugar than around the world. So we are eating a lot of carbs, a lot of sugar and overdoing it. Uh, I looked at some stats here, so this is kind of shocking. So the average person consumes 120 grams of sugar per day in the US, which is 500 calories of just straight sugar. Um, and 77 of those are considered added sugars. So I'll kind of dive into natural versus added. Um, but really the biggest thing is, you know, natural sugars are things that you're gonna find in fruits, vegetables, legumes, which are like beans and lentils. Um, they're in um, grains as well. So those are all naturally occurring forms of sugar. They're in those foods just as, as they're made. Added sugars are things, that, um, foods that are actually have sugar added during the processing and creation of that product. So think of like um, a juice, like an orange juice, right? Orange, oranges naturally have sugar in them, but when they're creating a juice, a lot of times you'll see that they actually add more sugar to it uh, for flavor, for taste. So um, you'll now see in the store, sometimes it'll say no added sugar, things like that, right? So um, more and more people are being more conscious of how much sugar they're consuming. So I think we're gonna see more of that education on labels and with food products um, in the future too. So natural, again, naturally occurring, added is something that's added to a product through the processing of it. Um, the biggest thing I think though, is to know that it's really the excess sugar, natural or added, is the problem here. Um, you know, added sugar necessarily doesn't act differently in the body than a natural sugar. Um, it's the same way, and, and sugars do have some benefits for us. It's a great source of fuel. Um, if you use some of the exercises that replenishes our glycogen stores, our brains use sugar for energy. But again, most of us overdo it. And um, so it's really being conscious of how much you're consuming. So excess sugar, whether natural or added, is really, really the issue here. And you wanna make sure that you are being conscious of how much sugar in general that you're consuming. So um, the US dietary guidelines say that you wanna have no more than 10% of your total calorie intake coming from sugars. Again, natural or added, all combined. So that's about, for a 2000 calorie diet, just take that on average, that's about 50 grams of sugar or 200 calories from sugar a day. Um, and then the American Heart Association recommends so then no more than 25 of those calories, so half, or sorry, 25 of those grams, half of the grams that you're eating being be from added sugars. And I think a, a really important thing too is a lot of times added sugars, again, I said I share that they don't act differently in the body. However, they are usually in foods that have very low nutrition profiles. So typically added sugars are in things, again, that like a juice that has no fiber content um, and no protein and no healthy fats, or um, you know a bar that is very low, again, in protein, fiber, and healthy fats. So what happens when you have all that added sugar added in there, you're going to spike your blood sugar and then you're gonna crash. Um, and that repeated response of spiking and crashing over and over again is really where the health issues come in down the road. Because you're, when you have sugar in your body, when you eat it, your insulin goes up, it tells those cells, hey, grab that sugar, put it into your cell and use it for energy. Um, but when it's constantly doing that over and over again with all this sugar, then you can get um, low insulin sensitivity. So with that, again, down the road, those are the, challenge, the health challenges that really come into play. So you have to be careful about how much sugar you're eating um, total throughout the day. So let's jump into the isolating shake because this is a, a good question. And um, again, I think you have to recognize that uh, added sugars, again, typically are in those foods that don't have a good nutrition profile. Um, and we know with our isolating shake, we take the, the ability of food science to create something that is has an amazing nutrition profile. It has the right amount of protein, carbs, and fats in the right amount. Um, and we do that, you know, again, through food science, an ability to create a whole food product using food science here. So in an isolating shake, it has our typical dairy shake. It has 11 grams of sugar. That's about as much as a medium sized apple. So really, if someone is going to have a meal, you know, outside of isogenics, they're gonna have a different breakfast or lunch, they're not gonna have a shake. Typically, they're gonna have as much, and honestly, I think usually more sugar, even if it's from natural healthy sources, um, than they would from a shake. So 11 grams for an entire meal, right? This isn't uh, a snack, this isn't, a, um, you know, um, something that you're having after you eat a full meal. For an entire meal, 11 grams is actually very manageable, and the amount of sugar in there um, 
it because we pair it with high fiber and healthy fats and great sources of protein 24 grams of undenatured protein um, you know you're actually going to have a lower glycemic response in your body so instead of that spike in blood sugar and a crash um, our shakes are designed again to be a low glycemic so that you get a steady supply of that energy those carbohydrates those sugars to your body um, without overdoing it without the spike in the crash now in those shakes, six grams of the 11 grams of sugar is naturally occurring from the dairy source. So dairy milk has naturally has naturally occurring sugars in it. So you're gonna get about six grams from that. And then we do have five grams of fructose. Fructose is also known as fruit sugar. So if you're eating an apple or a banana or strawberries, you're eating fructose. There's fructose in there. Um, and again, typically, you know, in general, that if I was being you know, very technical, the five grams is added sugar. It's added in there. But again, let's be smart about this. We are talking about a product that still has a great nutrition profile. Um, if you really break it down, it's 40% of the shake is carbs. I'm sorry, 40 yeah, 40 percent is carbs, 40% is protein, and 20% is healthy fats. And that is the like godsend of a healthy balanced meal right that's what you really want to get that balance of protein carbs and fats it's really hard to do that on your own if you're creating your own meal um even me as a dietitian like i know how to create a healthy meal but you have to like really think about it to get that right that balance of the protein carbs and fats in that ratio and with this it's already done for you and of course so easy and convenient to take the shakes too right you're not meal prepping or spending a bunch of time in the kitchen or time at the grocery store so so easy so again I think the biggest thing with with um, the sugars here is to remember to, we're eating too much in general most people in general too much sugar so yes we do need to be conscious about that um, added sugars again in general we want to be very you know cognizant of because they're typically added into foods that don't have a great nutrition profile anyways they're low in pro or low in protein low in fiber low in healthy fats and so that's where I think the biggest concern is coming um, from a lot of the organizations that are giving guidance on how much sugar we should include in our diet so you have to consider that and then the other thing too with um, our shakes is just knowing that um, we take the the amazing food science that's out there and create a create a balanced meal that has healthy sources of sugar in there. Um, we're not a fad at Isogenic, so that's what I love. You know, we aren't um, following some fad diet. When I when it comes down to it, you know, I've been uh, a dietitian. Let's see for uh, ten years, a little over ten years now, and. Um, they, you know, there's always something new out there and I'm always open to the newest science, but really when it comes down to it, that great foundation, it really is just a, pro a balance of protein, carbs, and fats. You know, there's, there's just no secret out there yet. And if, there, if we find one soon, that'd be great. But um, there really isn't, it's really just that balance. And what I love about Isogenics is we've stuck with that. It's always had that balance of the right protein, the right carbs, the right fats, and the right amounts. Um, and so just keep that in mind. Um, also, one last tidbit I have to leave you guys with. Um, this is something you're gonna wanna share. We did a, a study at Skidmore College and those that followed the Isogenic system, they, following the Isogenic system, they cut their carb intake by half and their sugar intake by two thirds. So just by following the system, um, if someone really wants to be more conscious of how many sugars they're consuming and they want to follow more of a low carbohydrate diet, even though Isogenics isn't some strict like fad, cal low calorie or low carb diet, it still is going to probably be lower than what most people are consuming. Because again, most people are consuming way too many carbs and way too much sugar. So just by following the Isogenics system, you're already going to be um, better managing your sugar and your carbohydrate intake um, because we do that for you. It's already taken care of by the, the shakes and then combining that with the cleanse days too. So keep that in mind. Share that little tidbit. Again, those that were in the system cut their carb intake by half and their sugar intake by almost two thirds. So that's pretty crazy just by following the system as is. No special things there um, because we do all the work for you guys. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, I hope if you have any more questions, make sure you just message me. I love getting um, messages with different topics that are out there that you guys want some help with and uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day and enjoy your new Isoline Pro Caramel Latte shakes you guys they're like selling out fast so get yours I know we're like 50% through inventory and it's been 24 hours so uh, you only can have a few more hours to get that Caramel Latte Isoline Pro shake bye everyone